The signs your body may be full of microplastics. Nearly 9 in 10 people now have microplastics in their blood. These are tiny particles of plastic less than 5 microns wide that can only be seen under a microscope. We often ingest these plastics from our food, water and inhale them from the air and studies are now confirming that they lodge inside tissues of the body, especially the brain, testes, lungs and arteries where they may contribute to inflammation by disrupting hormones. However, some people are less exposed to microplastics than others and there are many ways to help remove them from your body. In this video, we'll look at the signs that your body may be full of microplastics and some tips on what to do about it. Starting with one, gut discomfort. A study found that 94% of stool samples contained microplastics, meaning that we tend to eat or drink a lot of them every single day and they can pass through safely. However, if you have a lot of inflammation in your gut from bloating, cramps or constant diarrhea or constipation, it's more likely that the small particles of plastics may slip through the tight junctions in your intestinal wall, entering the bloodstream where they can then travel and build up in the organs like the lungs for example. However, you can strengthen your gut walls to absorb less of these plastics by simply eating more glutamine from bone broth, grass-fed beef and collagen peptides along with soluble fibre foods like chia seeds, basil seeds, carrots, sauerkraut, cognac noodles, psyllium and chicory root. And the second sign is brain fog. Microplastics that are less than 5 microns wide can cross through the blood-brain barrier and become lodged inside neurons and brain tissue. In fact, recent data shows that they can accumulate up to 30 times higher in the brain than in the liver or the kidneys. This may slow down your cognitive function, showing up as brain fog, poor concentration, poor short-term memory or a sense of mental fatigue even when you're fully rested. Microplastics can also carry hormone disrupting chemicals like BPA or PFAs into the brain directly, which interfere with the way your brain cells make energy and communicate. However, the brain does have a built-in cleaning system called the glymphatic system, which helps the brain to drain toxins, debris and microplastic particles. To activate this system, you need to be getting at least 7 to 9 hours of high quality uninterrupted sleep each night. So get more sleep by going to bed earlier, practicing relaxation and using natural sleep aids like tryptophan or tart cherry if you need to. 3. Hormone imbalances As I previously mentioned, many plastics carry endocrine disrupting chemicals like BPA, phthalates and PFAs. These can mimic estrogen in your body, throwing off hormonal balance in both men and women. For women, it could show up as irregular menstrual cycles, heavier or lighter periods, whilst in men it could mean lower testosterone, reduced libido and even hair loss or stubborn acne. However, your liver does have a very strong defence. It uses phase 2 detoxification enzymes to neutralise and get rid of many of these chemicals. And you can easily support these enzymes by eating sulphur rich foods like garlic, onions, cruciferous vegetables, milk thistle, turmeric and N-acetylcysteine supplements. I'd be so grateful if you could like the video, drop me a comment or share it with a friend to help me spread my work further. So now we'll come back to number 4, fertility struggles. In 2023, researchers discovered microplastics found in 100% of human testes samples. So for men, this could explain the global decline in sperm health, with some studies showing that sperm counts have dropped by around 50% since the 1970s. Microplastics and the chemicals that they carry are known to reduce sperm motility, testosterone and to damage reproductive tissue. In women, plastics can also interfere with how the ovaries work, potentially making it harder to conceive a child. 
Alarmingly, microplastics have also been detected in placental tissue, raising concerns about the growth and development of a baby. So what can you do? Well, the best thing is to reduce your exposure by avoiding plastic products around the home wherever possible. I suggest swapping out polyester clothing for more natural materials like cotton or linen. And again, support your liver detoxification with sulfur-rich foods to help lighten your microplastic burden. Remember, we can never avoid these plastics completely as they're absolutely everywhere, but we can help ourselves out by avoiding them and detoxifying them wherever possible. By the way, if you'd like to do a full microplastics detox, check out my full 12-step guidebook available on Gumroad, and there's a link to this below the video. 5. Circulation and Heart Strain in 2025, researchers discovered microplastics embedded in arterial plaque. Earlier data showed that people with plastics lodged in their arteries were found to be over four times more likely to suffer from a heart attack, stroke or death within just three years. You see, these particles don't just sit there harmlessly. They may trigger chronic inflammation, weaken the blood vessel walls and even make clots more likely to form. So if you've been struggling with poor circulation, cold hands and feet, or unexplained chest tightness, it may not be just cholesterol or high blood pressure that's the problem. Microplastics could be adding an extra burden to your cardiovascular system. One of the best ways to help reduce the thickness of arterial plaque is by doing intermittent fasting, and also improving blood flow with things like natokinase, aged garlic extract, and vitamin K2. 6. Breathing Difficulties Imagine having hard, tiny little plastics stuck inside your lung tissue. Well, a study in 2022 actually found microplastics in 11 out of 13 human lung samples, showing just how easily these fibres can lodge within our airways. These often come from synthetic clothing, carpets, household dust or city air pollution. Once inside, they may cause throat irritation, a chronic cough, wheezing or shortness of breath. If you live in a busy urban area or you spend lots of time indoors around synthetic fabrics, your risk of inhaling more plastic particles is much higher. Simple steps that you can take include ventilating your home, vacuuming with a HEPA filter, and wearing natural fabrics like cotton or linen instead to reduce what you breathe in every day. 7. Chronic Tiredness If you often feel exhausted even after a full night's rest, microplastics could potentially be adding to the load in your body. These particles can trigger oxidative stress and chronic inflammation, which diverts energy away from your muscles and brain. Chemicals carried by the plastics can also interfere with thyroid hormone, slowing your metabolism and energy production. This combination may leave you feeling persistently drained, foggy or unmotivated. A good way to raise your energy, however, is by getting more vitamin B1 from garlic, unfortified nutritional yeast and sunflower seeds. Also, it's important to stay well hydrated and get key minerals like magnesium and potassium as these can help your kidneys filter waste more efficiently. Which leads me on to number 8, skin changes and irritation. Although we tend to absorb most microplastics from food and water, we can also take them in through our skin. For example, microplastic beads which were often used in exfoliants and face creams have now been banned in Europe because they can penetrate hair follicles and enter the bloodstream, carrying things like heavy metals and PFAs with them. This can cause problems like skin irritation, acne and rashes which are otherwise unexplained. Some of these microplastics can also come from PVC and CPVC pipes, so it's not a bad idea to use a shower filter and a home water filter if you can. 9. Poor sleep and restless nights As I mentioned before, your brain has its own detox system called the glymphatic system, which only switches on during deep, slow-wave sleep. 
This is where waste products, toxins and even microplastic fragments get flushed out of brain tissue. But if your sleep is shallow, restless or you struggle to get at least 7 hours a night, this particular detox system never fully engages. Studies suggest high amounts of microplastics in the body and their hormone disrupting chemicals can make insomnia worse, leaving more toxins unflushed. So if you have trouble with your sleep, microplastics could be just one part of the equation. You may want to watch my video 6 vitamins to help you sleep for more tips on improving this. 10. Weakened Immunity Microplastics when absorbed can actually weaken the immune defences of your body. A 2023 study showed microplastics can be taken up by immune cells which interferes with how they respond to invaders. This can leave you more vulnerable to colds, infections or you may even have slower wound healing. Plastics can also carry chemicals into lymph nodes causing long term low grade inflammation that can leave you feeling very run down. So if you find yourself catching bugs more often than usual or struggling to bounce back after an illness, it could be a signal that your immune system is under some extra strain. Eating more probiotic rich foods like sauerkraut, kefir and kimchi can help along with getting enough zinc from seafoods and vitamin D from the sunlight. These things can all help your immune system become stronger over time. 11. Excessive sweating and salt loss Excessive sweating can be caused by low vitamin B1 or even chronic stress. However, Studies have also found that microplastics were present in human sweat. This means that the body may be sweating more to try and detoxify these plastics and chemicals faster. So if you sweat heavily, this could be one of the reasons. Be aware that you can lose 1 gram of salt per litre of sweat, so it's very important to add this back in by using water and a good low or no microplastic salt like Himalayan or Celtic sea salt. Aim to drink at least 2 litres of water and at least 3 grams of salt spread out throughout the day. 12. Accelerated ageing Have you noticed that some people seem to age very well whilst others look very drained and tired? With their skin wrinkling or sagging faster and hair prematurely greying with more joint pain and stiffness? Well this is usually down to oxidative stress being caused by too many toxins in the body. Microplastics and the forever chemicals that they carry can contribute to this accelerated ageing. The best way to fight premature ageing is by constantly filling your body with antioxidants. Vitamin C rich foods like berries, sauerkraut, sea buckthorn, rose hips, maca and amla, antioxidant rich spices like turmeric, cinnamon, cloves and fenugreek and bolstering your own antioxidant networks by doing regular exercise like rebounding on a mini trampoline or cycling can make a huge difference. When you exercise more, your lymphatic system is better able to drain microplastics from your body, naturally reducing oxidative stress and premature ageing. My Detoxify Microplastics protocol is now available if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching, please share this with a friend or a family member to help me reach more people. And as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.